Mozart could play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star when he was just four years old. By that age, when he looked at a piano keyboard, rather than seeing a lot of black and white keys, he saw patterns. In his mind, he would split the keyboard up into groups called octaves. Look how they are all identical. Between each octave, there are seven white keys and five black keys. The white keys are called A through to G, and then roll back to A on the next octave up. The black keys are named as sharp if they are to the right of a white key, and flat if they are to the left of a white key. The sharp sign looks like a hash, and the flat sign looks like a lowercase b. Here is C sharp. It's sharp because it's to the right of C and has a higher pitch. And here is E flat. It's flat because it's to the left of E and has a lower pitch. The black keys could all be named as sharps or flats, but in practice they are usually labelled C sharp, E flat, F sharp, A flat and B flat. Remembering all this can be very difficult at first, so I'm using scale strips from MIDI Muso. These will show me the names of the keys and their note position on the musical stave. OK, now we can see all the note names and positions. Let's use the strips to help us play a tune. <laughs> 